morning guys and welcome back to embers and ash my name's ashley if you didn't know and this is rook who's a little bit grumpy if you didn't know um i just woke up and changed this little guy's diaper and now we're trying to chill out so it is 10 o'clock right now and i'm really groggy um i definitely need some food and coffee in me because I feel like a zombie. But I felt the need to vlog today, despite that, just because I feel like today might be a bit of a hard one and I want to show you um, just realistic vlogs with a, a little baby. So my goals for today are to eat, excuse me. My goals for today are to feed myself, always a good goal. Um, shower, which I wanted to do that yesterday, but I prioritized editing a video, so we didn't shower yesterday. Um, and I want to upload that video that I edited. So three things to do today. I don't know if you're gonna let me do any of it, but that's okay. We're gonna stand. He does this thing where he um, hates being in the carrier for like seven minutes and then friggin' loves it and passes out. We are in the hate stage right now. Oh, bless you. Oh, bless you, watch your head. But I need him in the carrier because I need to make myself food and I can't put you down right now. Anyways, I forget what I was saying. See, now you're calm. All right, I'm gonna start making some food. All of the dishes are dirty. So that was an ordeal. He really was in and out of being sleepy and not happy. But he's calmed down since, and I'm gonna try and just put him on the couch next to me while I eat. And I'm gonna put a swaddle underneath him um, in case of any accidents, because I actually put him in a size one diaper this morning. And the reason for that is, um, so last night we ran out of Huggies diapers, which we usually use. And so we put him in Pampers, which we don't usually use because they don't fit him very well. And during both his feedings last night, he peed through his diaper. And so I don't know if it's because he doesn't fit Pampers very well, which is why we weren't using them in the first place, or because he actually has grown out of the newborn size diapers. So then at nine o'clock, I threw him in a Huggies size one. So we're going to see if you like size one diapers or if you're going to leak through them because they're too big. We will see. I also would love to brush my teeth right now, but that's a luxury that I don't get. And the kitchen's a mess. I would love to clean the kitchen. I don't know if I'm asking too much of today, but we'll see how much we can get done. Okay, I'm gonna try and get breakfast in. Oh no. Okay, we'll cuddle for a bit and then I'll eat my breakfast after. How does that sound? Good? Also, this is all the cold brew coffee I had left, so I might have to make some proper coffee later. Oh no. Okay, so now that I can actually like form thoughts in my head <laughs> since he's down, <sighs> what do I wanna say? Okay, Rook is three weeks old now, which is very exciting, but every week comes with its own challenges. Um, last week you guys saw that he was starting to like not wanna sleep during the day and that has just um, continued on through this week. But also we found that um, he 
isn't ever beyond being consoled, but sometimes he's very bothered and it's because he's had gas trapped in his stomach and he needs to burp. Whereas in previous weeks, he I would burp him after every feeding and he's very good at burping, but if anything wouldn't come up, um, he would be fine with it. And now if he has gas stuck in his stomach, he's not happy about it and we have to really work hard to burp him, which is fine. Um, he's still sleeping well at night. Last night he gave me, I think, two three-hour stretches and one two-hour stretch. So, like, still reasonable. I don't know. I think I might have lost my window. So, yeah, he's still a good boy. He just wants attention. But it makes my life a little bit trickier, obviously, because I'm trying to eat breakfast and he wants to be held. Um, that's the other thing is he's really been wanting to be held as opposed to just being put down to sleep. Not at nighttime, just during the day. But I just really don't want to form that habit of like him needing to be held to sleep because that is not something I want to deal with. But also, how are you supposed to not hold him when he's upset and then he just falls asleep on you? So I don't know where the balance lies. Someone's gonna get upset, so I am going to <laughs> woo, work on him. Okay, we'll see how long this lasts. Guys, I am tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. Am I making any sense in the vlog so far? Because I feel so scatterbrained. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of hate for letting Rook sleep on the couch, but I very much keep an eye on him and that's just what I'm doing, so. Please don't hate on me. What do I want to do? I want to open this package because I'm excited about it. Okay, I'm just going to go to the washroom and try and figure out what's happening here first. Okay, that's a bit more reasonable. All right, package opening time. So, I bought a nightlight. This is what it's called. So I bought this because I saw it... Um, like months ago online an ad for it running on Instagram and I was like oh that's a really cool looking light I kind of want to try it um but I was thinking that I would use my diff you know how diffusers have like a little light setting I was like oh I'll use that for my night light for nighttime feedings sure enough I tried it and that light is not bright enough to see what I'm doing um and I don't want to use my full-on bedside lamp because it's very bright and um, it wakes up Josh and it's just less of a sleep environment for Rook when I want to keep everything like dim and quiet at night so that he knows that like this is nighttime, all we do is sleep. Anyways, so I thought I'd try this out. It was on sale for I think $30, regular $50. So yeah, it's just this thing. Ooh, look at it go. I'm glad it came charged. Okay, I don't really know how it works. So basically like you press it to turn it on. I don't know why I'm telling you how it works when I don't actually know. But what I saw in the ad is that like you can flip it over to turn it off and then flip it right side up to turn it on. Okay, let's try it out. It is on. It is not turning off. There we go, turned off. Um, yeah, so cool. So I'm gonna try it out. I think you can, yeah, increase the brightness too. Oh my gosh, Rook is waking up. It's been like 10 minutes. <laughs> Anyways, I'll try this thing tonight and I'll let you know how I like it. Well, I got one thing accomplished. I opened up a package. Oh, are you fine now? Oh, I don't think so. I left my coffee on the counter. <laughs> I'm just as sad as you. We can be sad together. Here's the thing about the bouncy chair though. Rook doesn't like being propped up. Um, he likes laying down to sleep, so I can get him to calm down in a bouncy chair, but he won't stay asleep. So then I still have to like transfer him from the chair to somewhere to sleep. Um, so that's an ordeal. Same thing with like his car seat. He will sleep in the car, no problem, but once the car stops moving and we take him out, he wakes up because he does not like being propped up. So, oh, that was something I was gonna do today. 
Great reminder, thank you, Rook. Um, I wanted to look into getting a bassinet attachment for my stroller. I never thought that I would, sorry about the ticking noise, that's the bouncer, I can't stop, obviously. Yeah, we're looking into getting a bassinet attachment for the stroller. I always thought I wouldn't want or need one and that it's just like an extra thing, but I would never use it. But now that I've discovered that he doesn't like sleeping propped up, I wanna get one so that we can take him on walks in the stroller and he can sleep peacefully laying down and we can like, when we go to a park, we can just detach him from the stroller and set him down and he'll stay asleep. Um, also, we hate our bassinet, so I was thinking if we get the bassinet attachment for the stroller, we can just let him sleep in that at night. Not in the stroller, but like in the bassinet, you know? Um, so, the only thing though is they can be quite expensive, especially for the stroller that I have, but I think it's a good investment because we were planning on doing something different with our nighttime bassinet anyways. So I'll show you the bassinet, but first I want to make sure he passes the frick out, which it looks like he's on his way. Okay, so Rook is asleep for the time being. We all know that's not going to last very long, but I'll show you our bassinet setup. Oh my gosh, I left milk on the nightstand. How irresponsible of me. Okay, so here's the bassinet. Um, I got it secondhand off Facebook Marketplace, which I was really excited about because it was cheap. I'll start with all the positives. What I like about it is it's black and sleek and not colorful baby stuff. Um, also, I like that it has the mesh sides for breathing purposes and also just that I can see through. What I don't like about it is that it has like it's made of like panels and so it kind of is like an uneven surface and also there's like such a thin amount of like foam on it and then just hard plastic which I know you want like a hard surface for your baby but like this isn't it like it's so hard that it can't be comfortable and then the main issue we have with it is that it like sinks in the middle, I guess just from being used over time. It's not like a flat surface. Sorry, I'll flip you around. So it isn't a flat surface, so Rook like curls into the mattress and like isn't laying flat. And he's not a huge spitter upper, but most of the time when he spits up, it's when he's laying in this bassinet. And I'm sure it's because of how not flat the surface is. So we are not happy with it and we want something different. Um, so, so if we do get this bassinet attachment for the stroller, then we can just get rid of this one and let him sleep in that at night. So that's the logic behind the like high price tag. Baby boy is still sleeping. Again, I don't know how long this is gonna last, um, but I want to get something done while I have this freedom. So prioritizing my day. Like I said, I want a shower, but that's a whole ordeal to do my hair, and I'm not trusting that the snap is gonna last that long, so I'm gonna probably do that later. Um, I think I want to brush my teeth and clean the kitchen, because those things will make me feel a lot better about myself and just more stable. Yeah, and then if I have time, <laughs> getting a little overconfident here, if I have time, I will water the plants outside and do some laundry. But we'll see. Let's start with brushing my teeth because basic hygiene practices. Okay, so Rook just woke up. Hi. Um, he's not screaming yet, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna be hungry because it's been two and a half hours since he ate last. Um, and so I was able to clean the kitchen, mostly. It's not perfect, but like, what do you want? Um, and I watered the plants outside, so 
thank you, and I brushed my teeth. Um, I didn't get to laundry, but that's fine. Um, and it was actually really nice outside, so I'm thinking I'm going to try and feed Rook outside. Hold on, I got water overflowing. Um, I always had this dream that I would be able to like hang out on the patio with Rook or with my baby I didn't know it was Rook at the time But right when we had Rook or like the day when we came home from the hospital The mosquitoes got so bad in our neighborhood So I haven't been able to hang out outside, but I think they might be okay today. Ooh, He's getting squirmy. Okay. I'm gonna try and feed him outside So we just had a lovely time outside. There were no mosquitoes, which was such a big deal because they've been actually awful. Like some days just walking to our cars, we get eaten alive. So um, yeah, I fed him in the chair and then I thought, you know what, let's put out a blanket and hang out on the grass. Well, he didn't like that very much, which I don't blame him, like the ground is uneven and hard, um, whatever. So I got back in the chair and he loved it. We had a great time looking at the sky and the clouds. Uh, we're back inside now, obviously. I'm gonna find something to eat for lunch. It's 12.30. I'm also thinking of washing Rook's hair just cause it's getting pretty greasy and I don't wanna give him like a full bath. So I'm just gonna give him a little scrub on the head and then try and get him down to sleep, I think. Okay, so so far the only progress I've made is cutting up um, strawberries before Rook started getting a little cranky. So, I think we're gonna wash your hair now. How does that sound? So sexy. Look how cute you are. Are you so chill? Do you like the warm water on your head? Okay, so he dried his head off and we gave him a cute little hat to keep his head warm while the rest of it dries. Okay, so he's in his balancing chair now. I also should say like, obviously this is a lot of work taking care of a newborn as you can expect, but like it's not bad work, like it's a good time. Unless he's inconsolable, then it's a bad time. Um, but still like I'm busy all morning with him, but I'm hanging out with my baby, it's not like, bad yeah I'm now thinking also like maybe I'll wait to do my hair when Josh gets home because then I can make sure that like Rook is fully taken care of while I shower and dry my hair I don't know we'll see how Josh is feeling but yeah I'm gonna eat my bowl of strawberries because that's all I prepared while I bounce this little guy hopefully to sleep and then if he sleeps I can get that video uploaded which I'm very excited about also I don't just eat strawberries and bagels actually I kind of do I was gonna say like that's what I ate in the last vlog but honestly right now that's pretty much what I'm eating strawberries and bagels also, um, while I was feeding him outside, I was able to order that bassinet um, online. So yeah, I'm really excited for that to come in the mail. Okay, Rook is asleep again, which is wonderful. Um, in a little bit, I'm gonna try and transfer him to his crib because I know he'll sleep better in a crib than uh, in the bouncer. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what to eat for lunch. It's 12.55 and I've had my strawberries, but that's obviously not enough food. Um, and like, don't judge me, but we have just like this bacon in the fridge that's been there for a couple days and needs to get used. So I'm just gonna cook up bacon and have that for lunch. Hey. 
Have a good sleep. Make it a long one. Okay, Rook's in his crib. Bacon's on the stove. I am now gonna try and get that video uploaded. Like I said, one of my goals for today. And then I guess eat my bacon. <laughs> Such a well-rounded lunch, hey? Um, but I mean, I'm so tired right now. Usually I don't crash until like um, 7, 8 o'clock, but today I'm crashing early. Oh, I I didn't have as much coffee as normal. I forgot about that. Maybe that's why. Should I make myself some coffee? I don't know. You know what? Maybe I'll just ask Josh to bring me home an ice cap. That might be the plan. Cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get working on the video. So we got a total of probably 10 minutes of sleep. Isn't that right? So we're gonna try and figure this out because I haven't done anything except make bacon, which is not enough. Also, I've started like trying to get this video um, exported for you guys, but apparently I have um, like 55 gigabytes of other storage on my computer, so I need to first figure out how to clear my computer before I can export it. Somebody's upset. Somebody's quite upset. And somebody else is quite tired. Actually, probably both of us. Um, I'm trying to figure out my computer thing, and honestly, I just don't have the mental capacity to try and like learn how to clear space on a computer. Um, so I think I'm just not going to deal with it today. The video is for next week anyways. Um, and instead I'm going to have some freaking cake because that's what I feel like right now. I feel tired and wanting cake. So something I've learned about motherhood is um, flexibility. So like I set these goals for myself during the day but I 100% know that there's a good chance that none of them will happen. Um, I just fed Rook, put him in his crib, he's making some coups, but I'm hoping he's gonna go down, as I always say. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna eat my cake, because that's what I need right now, and then I'm gonna take a nap. And I'm probably not gonna do the laundry, I'm probably not gonna upload that video, and I am confident I'm going to shower though because when Josh gets home, he loves hanging out with Rook and I'm sure that'll give me time to shower. But I am feeling very wiped. I did not have enough coffee today, but hopefully Josh will bring me one on his way home from work. Hey guys, so it is four o'clock now. So Rook has been sleeping for the past couple hours, which is amazing. Um, but I haven't. I tried hard. I laid on the couch. But sometimes you just can't nap even when you're tired. And yeah, my mind was just racing about all the things that I have to do and I couldn't sleep. So I also tried working on my computer some more. And uh, I think I figured out how to clear my storage and um, export my video. But because the storage is so full, every step I take, the computer like crashes. So. I really just need to let that one go for today and deal with it another day because I do not want to stress myself out anymore over that. I am going to uh, get some laundry going, check that off the list, and Josh should be home in, I don't know, like a half hour. Anyways, let's get some laundry in. <laughs> One of the struggles of living in a small space is that the laundry room is in Rook's bedroom and so the beeping of turning on the laundry machine actually woke him up, um, which to be fair it was only like 20 minutes off from when I was going to wake him up anyways, but still. <laughs> so I was able to put a load of laundry in and take the clean laundry out, but now it's just in a pile on the floor in the living room. Well, I feed this mister. Oh, jeez. Hi. Ooh, package? 
What's that one? You cook and bacon in here? I did. Nice. You want to throw me that package? Uh, yeah, sure. It feels like a onesie, maybe. Jeez, our child's on the ground. Oh, you said throw, throw me yeah, the package. <laughs> Baby crawler. How's your day going, honey? It's okay. I'm pretty freaking tired. Well, are you the freaking cutest thing going, yeah? What? Oh my gosh, this wasn't supposed to come for like a month. So, I ordered this onesie because when Rook was in the womb, we called him the potato, and I found this shirt or this onesie on um, Amazon, and it has a potato on it that says, I'm a potato. <laughs> so yeah, I'm so excited that it came right now. It was supposed to be here in October. That's so exciting. Look at it. Oh, that is pretty cute. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. What, what age? Uh, it's zero to three, but it's pretty friggin' big. It That's probably good, will be. We do have a long baby. We do have a long baby. A cute long baby. This might be say. more of like a three to six. It's a cute long baby. But... Cute! Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, you got me a big one. Why is it just so regular? I don't know. Regular. Regular means they pick what size they want to give you. Is that what that is? That what it means? I don't know. Wow, is he about to pass out on the ground? It has been a hot second since he's done that. Good job, Ricky. Give in. I don't think this is going to fit him anymore. Should we retire these? Oh no, you're growing out of your clothes, little man. This used to fit you so perfect. Now it's so small. Hey guys, so as you can probably tell, actually I don't know if you can tell, but it's nighttime now. It's um, close to nine o'clock. I ended up uh, stopping filming because um, basically Josh got home, he showered, and then he left for a Cairo appointment. And then Josh's mom came over, so I didn't want to film during that. And we just had dinner together. And now we're just hanging out, um, watching some TV, and that's about it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got some more insight on what life is like with a newborn. Um, if you want more vlogs and you're enjoying this content, let me know, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!